Hey you all, Jim Lake here, and today I am going to show you how to solve a hard Sudoku puzzle. Again, these hard puzzles are going to show like wings, chains, uh, unique rectangles, empty rectangles, advanced techniques. And with that, it's solving time. I just clicked on a new puzzle here. I will have all the candidates showing. That's the only way to solve these puzzles when they're very uh, advanced. So I'm going to look down here and block eight, two, three, two, three. That has to be a one. And this has to be a nine. Those were hidden singles. Moving right along. I'll tend to look at the cell or the blocks that have the least amount of cells. That will help me solve it that much quicker. So two, four, two, three, four, and two, three. What you'll notice here is that that is a hidden triple. And so this eliminates the three right there. And that leaves us a six, nine locked pair. And so we can eliminate the sixes and the nines from the rest of here, which also means that this six has to be a solution for that block. Okay. Moving right along here, I see a two, three, five, triple up here, it means this has to be a six. These are six in these two spots. So sixes, only two spots for sixes and blocked here, here, only two spots for sixes are here. That means those sixes can be eliminated, which means this has to be a six. And that has to be a six. Two, four, two, three, four, two, nine. Well, that's a nine in single. Okay, I got a hidden single eight here in row three. Eight, 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 eight. Come down here, another eight which is going to open up the seven and the three is the five, eight down there. One, four, now that's a locked pair. So this has to be a nine. That's going to be a six. It's going to be a nine. And that's going to be a three. Two, five, two, five pair in row two means this is a nine. And this is a six. One, four, one, four. We can eliminate the ones from the rest of this block. The two fives mean this has to be an eight. And one more eight there. So the eights, the sixes, and the nines are already solved. Which is good. That naked single one right there. Two, five, two, five. That means we can get rid of the two, five. That gives us a one, four, and come across here. We're going to make one there. And then you have a naked, excuse me, hidden single seven. Two, five, two, five, two, five, two, five. That has to be a one. Well, we got a lot of twos and fives. Um, two, three, four, five, six. What I'm looking for is like if there's a, a remote pair um, combination that we can make out of this. And there's not yet. I'm sure I'll be able to find something though. Okay. That's seven. It's a naked single. Which means this seven. It's a naked single. 
that sends a naked single, or excuse me, hidden single. Now the six, seven, eights, and nines have all been solved. Wow, we've gotten a lot of progress in this puzzle. So let's go to the filters here. I have a feeling this will help us solve the rest of the puzzle. One, four, one, four. We can make some eliminations here. Since the, this is a, a unique rectangle, and I believe this is going to be a type four. So because of unique, well, what we have here basically is next week. And I'll just color the cells. Okay. So X wing, only two in this row, only two in this row, they make an X. Uh, and they're in the same two columns, so we can eliminate all the other ones. So that can't be a one. These ones have to be down low. And, this be high. and then we also can eliminate that five, eliminate that two. You add those back in. So because the ones only appear here um, and the fours appear outside because of uniqueness, these aren't going to be fours. Get rid of the fours. I'm going to explain that in previous videos, but that's a unique rectangle. And since the fives are the only ones down here, and I can eliminate that five right here. Rows, these are the only parts we can get five. Since the five is right there, I can eliminate that five right there. The twos, there's lots of twos here. What I'm looking for is how many are in um, strong links. And there's a couple, but I don't think there's going to be enough for me making eliminations just yet. And again, I looked for those remote pairs, but I wasn't able to make any remote pair eliminations either. So we'll move on to the threes. Okay, we can make an elimination here. We have thinned X-wing. I will show you the, well, yeah, I'll show you the X-wing right now. Okay, and then that's the fin. So, same two. Uh, two columns, same two rows, we have these threes. But we have a thin, an additional three right there. So if that three was gone, this would be a nice little X-wing, and we can eliminate these cells in between. Uh, we've eliminated all the threes in between. But since the fin is there, we, we have to check our logic. So if the three, if the, the fin was true, and this is a three, we can eliminate this cell right here. But if the fin is false, then we have an X-wing, cutting across. And so there would be a three in one of these two spots. We could still eliminate this cell here. We can't necessarily eliminate that, uh, this cell. So either way, with the fin X wing, we can eliminate that three, and that's going to help us out. Okay, looking at our fours. No eliminations from there. Look at our fives, a lot of the pairs, the two five pairs, notice.
We go here, we have many, many uh, BVCs, but most of them are fives and twos. So can we use that to eliminate some fives and twos? And I would say the answer is going to be yes, but how do we use that to our advantage? Something like, like starting here and going five, two, two, three, three, two, two, five, we should be able to eliminate, this is our here, five and a two, this is a strong link, weak link to the two here, strong link to the three, weak to the three, strong link to the two, weak to the two, strong link to the five. These two fives, whatever, you can see we can eliminate the five, there is not gonna be a five there, not gonna be a five there. Well now we have a two, three, two, three, means that that has to be a five. Great, I'll get rid of this coloring. And I think that that XY chain is going to crack this puzzle for us. Because once we start doing these twos and fives, it's going to free up so many cells in this puzzle. Four, one, four, five. Okay, well, it's not uh, almost we cracked this. It's a one, two, four, two, four, three, four. That has to be a five. Now the fives are solved. Uh, one, three, three, four, one, four. Great. Four, two, three, four, two, three. Great. So this is where it takes just a little bit of patience. We will solve the rest of this puzzle shortly. I think what we have, well, not quite. As long as we have a bug plus one, but we actually have three cells in both of those. So I can't quite do the bug plus one by, by value universal grave. Very neat technique. If I had it here, I'd show it to you. All right, let's go quick candidate filter. See if I'm missing something in the obvious. And that's one thing we're missing in the obvious right there. So now we do have the bug plus one. This is going to be fun. Okay, here we go. Right here, this cell. This is the only one remaining that has three candidates. Everyone else has two. This is called by value universal grade plus one. So there's one extra candidate. Well, we can solve this very quickly. What we're going to do is you're going to look and see, well, looking in the column or the row, is there one of these candidates that appears three times? If there is, that's the solution to this cell right here. So the fours appear twice. The twos appear three times. The threes appear twice. This is a two. And from there, you are going to be able to solve the rest of this puzzle. Now you're saying, gosh, Tim, like you cheated. You took a shortcut. You don't know that's going to work. If you work out the logic, you can make another X, Y chain that would solve this puzzle. And I'd be able to work it like, but I'm not interested in doing that. I can solve it so much quicker. So here we go. Sudoku solves. Great job. Hopefully you learned something new today. and that you enjoy uh, Sudoku as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Please look at some of my other videos when you get the chance and I hope you have a great day.